Finally, we can rank or number records based on how their field values compare to other records in the same table. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. For this example, I'm using an app from the App Exchange called the CRM Starter. Download the app from the Exchange if you want to follow along. We'll be focused on the Opportunities table. This table lists out a number of different opportunities along with their amounts and their closed dates and additional information. What I want to be able to do is rank from top to bottom each of these opportunities that is not closed based on the amount. This way, this first record for electric emeralds for 270,000 would be ranked first and the next second, third, fourth, and so on. Traditionally, this has been something very difficult to do, but using the new formula queries, it's actually not that hard. We'll need to make note of two pieces of information before we go writing our query. I'll hop into our settings and into our fields. Because that ranking will be based primarily on the amount, we'll need to know the field ID for that amount field. That's field ID number seven. I also don't want to rank anything that has a status of closed. So I'll need to know the field ID for the status as well, and that's number 14. I've already added a numeric formula field called rank. To this, we will add our formula query. When using these functions for formula queries, I like to separate out the actual query string into a variable. So I'll start by defining my variable. These will all be text, and I'll simply call mine query. All of our query strings begin and end with a set of curly brackets. Within those curly brackets, I start first with the field ID that I want to query against. That first was a mount. That was field ID number seven. That's separated from my operator with a period. And then I include my operator. My operator in this case is going to be greater than or equal to. That is followed by what I'm comparing in a set of single quotes. But in this case, I want to use an actual field variable, so I'll need to concatenate it with that ampersand. This is my amount field, and then I can close out the end of that query with that single quotation and that curly bracket. If you want more information specifically on writing out these query strings, check out my video and post called Query Writing 101. Now with my first query string, I'll get a list of records that have an amount that are greater than or equal to the record that this formula is on. But I also want to make sure to not count those with a status of closed. So I'll use the AND operator and add an additional query string that says that the status field number 14 is not equal to closed. And then close out that query string and finish my variable with that semicolon. Now I can begin to write my query formula. For the ranking, we're going to get the count of the records returned by our query string, and that is the size function. To actually execute our query string, we'll need to include get records, and this is with the plural, the multiple records get records, and that will include our query. If we were querying a different table within the same app, we would include that table's dbid into the get records function in this spot. As an alternative, we could also use the table alias, but because this is the same table, we don't need to include it. So I'll go ahead and take that out. Now there is an adjustment we'll need to make to this, but let's see what we've got so far. I'll click save, and we'll head back to our opportunities table. I've already added rank to this report, but let's sort by that rank. You see, I've got the first, second, third, and now two fifth place rankings, six, seven, eight, and nine. Depending on how you wanna handle ties, this might be perfectly okay. But if you wanna match the format that we typically see in other places, is that tie is the lower of the number, so it should actually be number four. We can go in and make an additional adjustment within our function. Rather than including greater than or equal to, We'll simply say greater than and then add an additional single value to count the record that we're on. Click save. 
And now within our ranking, we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 6, 7, 8, and 9. There's one other adjustment that we haven't made yet, and that's to account for any closed statuses. Notice nothing here is closed. Let's go ahead and close a few records and see what happens. Now our ranking goes one through seven, but I'm still ranking those records that have a status of closed. Let's head back into the formula, and I'll simply add an if statement here. If the record status equals closed, then enter a null or no value, otherwise get that ranking. Now with those adjustments, we can see we've got everything ranked that is not closed, one through seven, where those ties receive the same value at the higher placement of three, and there's no rank on anything that is closed. What a simple way to rank records by comparing their values to each other. These ranking queries can also be super helpful as an intermediate step to more complex formula queries. For examples, check out my video on easy metric tables using formula queries. If you like this video, there's a whole lot more going on over at quickbasejunkie.com training. And when you're ready, I'll see you in the first lesson. If you found this video helpful, let me know. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye for now.